So in this video, we will be learning what context help is and how to use it and its different components. To invoke uh, context help, you can go to help menu and from there you can select it. This is a toggle if it's turned on as it is in this case then it will be turned off if turned off it will be turned on further you can use the control H help shortcut key to invoke it control H to turn it off or on it's a toggle so let's see different components of this context help let's place some object Let's create a control for it and let's connect some different data type to see some functionality of context help. So if we look at the context help window, at the top we see that the name of the object is displayed beneath that is the picture pictorial representation of the object with its inputs and outputs let's add another object let's say this vi and Let's take this example. So if the inputs are normal text, then that means the inputs are recommended. And if you do not connect those, the lab you will use default value set in the VI. But if the text is marked with bold text, then that is a required input and the VI will not run until you provide that input to the function or the VI. But if the inputs are dimmed, then that means that input is optional, very, very rarely used option. Further, if you below that is the below the picture, the image is the description then there are the uh, data types uh, shown and if you move your mouse on onto a particular input you can see the terminal type and if your the wire that you have connected is different than the expected wire then you will see the connected wire data type as well uh, so you will know if there is a quotient dot for example as it is in this case you will know that you need to connect a double uh, while you have connected a long integer to it further if we press this detailed help link The uh, lab use detailed help facility will open up where you can read through the detailed description of the function under your cursor. details will be available uh, in this set in this detail help window moreover there are three options available here the first one is 
to show you the details whether you want to see the details or not if you press it it will toggle you from detailed help to non detail in the non detailed detailed uh, mode the optional parameters and the path to the vi is not shown but if you turn it on the optional parameters and the detailed path from which the vi is loaded are shown also as you move the mouse over different objects context help shows you the help for the relevant object but if you press this lock item then the context help will not update and will be locked onto that particular item you can enable disable locking by using control shift l as well and the last one is the same one which is the uh, detailed help uh, either you can use this one or you can use this one you are carried to the detail help of the lab view help also if dialog boxes are visible on your screen then the context help shows you the relevant help for the buttons under your mouse or the options under your mouse as you can see here the same goes the same goes for the project window so the context help window can be resized to display more help if required but it resizes once you move your mouse onto an another object further if you move the context help to a certain location and turn it off and when you turn it on again and it again opens in the same place but with a its own uh, size which expands and contracts as uh, is needed so this was uh, about all for the about the context help hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching